Hi, what we're working with today is we're beginning to deal with order of operations. Um, the first thing that I do when I teach order of operations, and I separate it into two parts. We're just going to do the second part, which is MDAS. And so we will use PEMDAS. But for today, we are going to focus on just this, these four. We'll deal with the P and the E later, but we need to get a mastery of how to do this other part because after teaching for years, this is where I see mistakes the most, is on the M dots. So M stands for multiplication, and D stands for division. The issue with PEMDAS is that everybody thinks that M has to come first because it's first in line here. But really, M and D are together. There's not a letter that represents M and D together. So when you see a multiplication and division, you must go left to right. So you start on the left, and then you do the ones on the right. So that's the big place where people are going to make mistakes. Okay. So why don't we look at a couple examples. So if I have the problem 10 divided by 2 times 3. So I look and see, do I have any multiplying or dividing? And I do. Uh, but here's the tricky part. I have to do the one that comes first. And so the one that comes first is right here. I don't do 2 times 3. I have to do the one that comes first on the left. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Everything that I didn't do, I bring down. And let me actually change colors so that you can see what I'm doing. And now I have a multiplication left. And so 5 times 3 is 15. If you would have done this first, 2 times 3, you would have gotten 10 divided by 6, and you can't do that. So that's why you must go left to right. All right, let's do another example. So let's do negative 2, parentheses 4, parentheses negative 3, divide by 6. Remember that parentheses just actually means multiplying. So I have a multiplying here, a multiplying here, and a dividing. Again, I go left to right, so I'm going to do this. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. And then I'm going to bring down everything else that I haven't touched. Now I need to do the next one, and again, I go left to right, so I do this. And negative 8 times negative 3, there's two negatives, so it's negative negative 24. And remember, that turns into a positive. And then I have to bring down what I haven't used, which is the 6. And now I'm going to do 24 divided by 6 which is 4. So it's very important to go left to right. Okay, If you don't go left to right, it's going to mix some things up. So that's how you do multiplying or dividing. The last thing we have is adding and subtracting, which are these two here. Now just like multiplying and uh, dividing, adding and subtracting also go left and right. What's nice about adding and subtracting, though, is that really if you do your integers rules, it won't matter. The big thing is you have to remember that a minus is just a negative. But again, we're going to say we go left to right. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples. So 5 minus 8 plus 2. So again, I'm going to underline what I'm going to do first. And there's no multiplying, no dividing, so I just start on my left. And 5 minus 8, different signs subtract, so it's 3. And since 8 was bigger, it's negative 3. And then I'm just going to bring down my plus 2. And so now I have to do that. Negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. All right, let's look here. So let's do another one, example 2. And so now... 5 minus negative 8, oops, hold on, so 5 minus 8 minus negative 7, that's what I wanted to do. 
Okay, so again, I start on the left. 5 minus 8 is a negative 3. And here, I can go ahead and do this all at once now. I know that they're going to become plus, so I could just write plus 7 there. And now I need to do negative 3 plus 7, which is 4. Okay. All right, let's look at the examples down here where you actually have to figure some stuff out. Again, the first thing you need to ask yourself, do you have any multiplying or dividing? That's the first thing. After that, then you do the adding and subtracting. Okay? So if you notice, the first sign I have multiplying is right here, so I'm going to do that. 2 times 4 is 8, and I'm going to bring everything else down. Minus 3 plus 6. Now I'm going to do my next thing on the left, because I have no more multiplying or dividing, so I just do this. 8 minus 3 is 5, and then I bring down the plus 6. And then 5 plus 6, last thing, is 11. Okay, so let's look at number 2. I have multiplying and dividing. I have a multiplying right here because that says multiply. Oops. So I'm going to do that. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. I'm going to bring everything else down. Now again, I have to look here. Do I have any multiplying and dividing? And I do. I have this multiplying and dividing. I have this dividing. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Because it's negative, I write the negative. And then I just bring down that negative, or that negative 6 because there's nothing there. And now, same sign you add, and you get 8. And since they're both negative, it's negative 8. But if you would have done 6 minus 4 first, you would have got a different answer. So you have to remember you have to do all the multiplying and dividing before you get rid of any adding and subtracting. All right, last one here. Let's look at this one. The first multiplying I see is right here. And 2 times 3 is 6. And since there's a negative there, I'm going to bring that negative down. And now I'm going to write down everything else that's there. I bring down a 5, and I bring down a plus 4. Now I have no more multiplying or dividing, so I can go ahead and just work left to right. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. And then I'm going to bring down my plus 4. Well, now I only have two things left, so I can combine them. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. All right, the last title problem we're going to have is we're going to actually do something called evaluate. Okay, evaluating is when you plug values in. That's the easy way. The technical word is substitute. So we plug values in to different variables. So an example would be if x equals 4, find 2x plus 3. So what happens is instead of an x, I'm going to plug in a 4. So what it would look like, you'd say 2 parentheses 4 plus 3. I really like you guys to plug things into parentheses because in the end, sometimes without parentheses, you're going to get it wrong. But if you have parentheses, it should always help you get it right. Now I would use my order of operations. 2 times 4 is 8. Bring down my plus 3. And 8 plus 3 is 11. All right, so here's problems that are a little harder. The first thing I want us to do is I want us to plug it in. Let's see if I can get some space. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. So instead of an A, I'm going to write 2. Instead of B, I'm going to write a negative 3. And instead of C, I'm going to write a 4. So it would be 2, negative 3, plus 4. And again, get in the habit of just plugging it into parentheses. Now I need to follow my m as, m as, okay? So do I have any multiplying or dividing? 
That's right, I have this multiplying here. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Bring down the plus 4. And now I can just combine those. And negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try and plug in 5 and 6. And then from there, we'll see how to simplify them. So for number 2, it should have been 2, and then parentheses negative 3, minus negative 3, parentheses 4. So I have two different multiplications. I'm going to do this one first because it's on the left. So I get negative 6, and then I'm just going to bring everything else down. I still have another multiplication. It's right here. And so I get negative 6 minus 3 times 4 is 12, but I have that negative right there that I have to include. Well, now I'm out of my multiplying and dividing, but I do have two negatives here touching. So it becomes positive, and negative 6 plus 12, well, that's 6. All right, last one. This one has a lot of terms, so instead of A, I'm going to write 2. Instead of B, negative 3. And instead of C, 4. And then plus, instead of B, negative 3. Instead of C, 4. And now divide. I'm going to write my divide as a fraction because that's what we've been doing in the pre algebra. So I'm going to divide by 2. So I'm going to do my multiplying first, left to right. And here, you see how there's three things together? I can do all that multiplying at once because 2 times 3 is 12 times 4 is negative 36. And then I'm going to bring everything else over or down. Now I still have multiplying. I need to do this multiplying. So I get negative 36 plus negative 12 divided by 2. Um, I have an adding and I have a dividing. So I'm going to do the dividing first. And negative 12 divided by 2 is positive 6. And now I just have adding to do. And so negative 36 plus 6 is negative 30. So the most important thing you have to remember is when you're doing multiplying and dividing, you have to go left to right. So whatever operation out of the multiplying and dividing is on the left, that's where you start. And then you work your way to the right.